Should I look over this way? Season two, number episode 12. And uh, say a word of prayer to get started. Father, we thank you very much for the information that we're still allowed to know and that we can find truth and error and help us to be discerning believers uh, who search for truth and seek it out. We thank you. We ask you with your spirit to open our minds in Jesus name. Amen. Okay. Uh, well, where, where should we start? Um, I know that I know we've seen before that the great uh, hatred that Elrod Hubbard had for psychiatry is because he presented his work to psychiatrists and they told him he was a nutcase. <laughs> and from then on, he hated him. And it was his mission to destroy him. Uh, but you know, that, that affects a lot of people because uh, I was reading about uh, genetic entropy. And uh, as we decay, and all of us are, at a very rapid rate, and um, a lot of depression comes with that, and it's genetic. A lot of uh, problems, uh, uh, dementia, dementia. Turn of the century, dementia was a very small amount of people when they got to an older age, got dementia. Now as much as 50% of people that get into their 80s, 90s have dementia. So a huge increase in that. And of course, the genetic entropy book was talking about this is, a, this is part of the degeneration of our genes. And that uh, it was very encouraging because it said uh, nothing we can do about it. Our genes are degenerating and we're gonna die. And death is a part of the degeneration of our genes and no amount of medicine or miracle drugs are ever gonna turn that around because it's genetic. Uh, and so there's a tremendous need for people to have help. Uh, of course, the people in Scientology, that's forbidden. It's forbidden ever to get uh, psychological help. Just, just help with the, the mental stresses of life and whatnot. And if you got a kid that starts off with some severe problems, so that's forbidden to have some psychology applied to their life, which is a shame. And, and you know, it's like, you know, they say, well, look at all these people, psychiatrists did terrible things, you know? Uh, and you take any profession, ministers, doctors, any profession, and that's true, you'll have some outliers. Some people that are good and hurt other people. But that doesn't mean you never hire a contractor because you knew one that was bad, you know. So, yeah, we got quite a propaganda. Um, it's nice to know this so when you see a yellow shirt, you understand what's going on. And you don't become a part of the uh, propaganda comments. I need a question about genetic entropy. Mm -hmm. When you say our genes are deteriorating, does that mean, are you saying my genes personally are deteriorating and that's why I'm having this problem? Or are you saying the gene pool collectively is deteriorating and that's why the society is having these problems? We all have the same deterioration of genes. I've said before that the low number basically is I have, my dad had a hundred genetic defects and I have a hundred more than he had and my son has a hundred more than I have and my grandson has a hundred more and just it compiles and that's true universally. Now some it affects, it, it affects in different ways. Uh, some people will get uh, a disease, some people will get uh, uh, it's kind of like Down syndrome come up now and again, you know, in a gene pool, but not everywhere. Uh, and 
and uh, so all of us are heading down the slope. It's just, it's, it's kind of like you can see the genetic decay from the patriarchs ages till today. It's, it's certainly, when Noah was 600 years old, the flood came. Well, <laughs> nobody's gonna get to 600 years old today. You know, if, if we're lucky, we'll get to uh, 80 or 90, you know, and that's if we have the strength. And that's genetic decay. We were much smarter in the past than we are now. There's an article, and I think it's either Creation or, you anyway, know, one of the magazines, Creation magazines, that talked about the people in the 1800s have been shown to be much more intelligent than we are. We have a lot more technology and stuff, but they know how to think better than we do. So it affects all of us, and, and some of us it comes out in depression. That's one manifestation, but there are other ways too that like dementia, much more common now. I don't, I don't know how to answer your question. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> Die young. <laughs> well, you know, we have a lot of medications that help uh, and whatnot, but praise, um, praise the Lord for that. I also want to point out that you know all those heinous things that were going on in the mental institutions. I don't think those people were setting out to hurt people. They thought they were helping. I mean, every field has that. Asbestos was the greatest thing in the world. Oh yeah. You know, we didn't know anything. They came home. Miners in Australia came up every day covered yeah. with asbestos dust because this was a miracle thing. Right, and I'm sure that's true in almost every field that we have moved on, and we know that. Mm -hmm. But they sure seem to put a lot of blame on those early mm -hmm. mental institutions. Well, oh. yeah, because it would show the, the Victorian, the, 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 yeah, Victorian, the yeah. you know, the, yes, the Victorian mental institutions from our standpoint torture yeah. right. And you know, things were so primitive in terms of what we knew about things, still are really, in many ways. Um, but we don't chain people up, generally. We drug them <laughs> in more sophisticated ways. But you know, um, and a lot of taking people out of homes was for the protection of the people in the home. You couldn't leave people who were really on the edge around your kids or your grandparents or someone who they might hurt, and they're trying to protect them. And and all of us have to fight the tendency to get lazy, and eventually it's just easier just to lock them up, house them, than it is to solve the problem. We see that in our homeless situation. I mean, we spend millions of dollars in San Francisco and uh, Los Angeles, spend millions of dollars giving them free this and free that and free drugs and rather than actually handling the problem. Uh, but you know, the, if it weren't for Scientology, it'd be a lot worse. They're gonna solve the drug problem and solve all these problems. and. There's a tremendous appeal to that, of being able to help people. Because uh, most of us have some sort of compassion in our hearts, and, and they draw on that. And, and then when they see, look what we're doing, then when you re realize it's all a lie. If we'd have seen those films in 2013 when they were made, would we think they're Oh, it wasn't that long ago. Okay. They're yeah. massively hokey. I have always thought so. Like, oh, booming yeah. voice and all that kind of stuff. Exactly. And then all of a sudden there's people on horseback. And it's like, yeah. how stupid do you think I am? Well, <laughs> well, evidently a whole lot of people, one of these big beatings. 
There's a big. There's that. There's a. They're they're using psychiatry. Right. Yeah. She had these doubts, always had these doubts. Then she gets into the crowd and the excitement and the goosebumps, you know, and, and, and all that. And well, how could I be doubting? Look what was being done. The, the, the hysteria. Yeah. All, and those, those meetings become a, a group, you know, a, a mob mentality designed to go into hysterics. Kind of like a three cheers for Jesus route. I was thinking the same thing. What can I say? <laughs> you know, all those kids have to do great things for the Lord, you know, and we're going to change the world and our families are going to be changed. And then you go home. Yeah. Now well, what? I saw them doing that to the 501 school teachers. They were up on their feet and cheering and getting on because it's a new school year. I'm thinking. Yeah, but then you go into the classroom. <laughs> than a pep rally to get me enthused about going back to school. <laughs> I have heard that uh, California is passing uh, laws that the homeless people have to stay a certain distance from the schools, and uh, it was a big, it was a big issue. A lot of people thought, "Oh no, you can't do that. You ought to let them, those people get. You know, they've got rights to that place around the school." But uh, so many people were saying. Uh, uh, Homeless people are drug addicts. Generally, a lot of them are. A lot Many of them have mental problems. A lot mental of drug mental problems. Yeah. And all this. And uh, the announcer said, well, I think it's a pretty good idea that they'll put them close to those kids because yeah. they're going to teach those kids how to do drugs and, and they're, they're not safe when right. it comes to young, really young children. They don't know any better than. Yeah, uh, but that's just one step toward herding them into a small area and locking them up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, when, when the government gets into a program, it doesn't work no. because the government's not good at handling problems. Um, the government should keep us free, you know, from tyranny of other nations and keep us safe in our homes. It's about it, you know, if they just stick to that. There's a lot of very clever and intelligent people that can help people with drug problems and mental illness and whatnot. Uh, but the government ought to really stay out of that. Uh, in uh, San Francisco, it was gonna cost something like a half a million dollars to build a house for one homeless person. Well, well why does it take a half a million dollars to build a house for a single person, you know? And if they have a house, they won't be homeless anymore and the problem's over. No, they're homeless for a reason. Uh, so, yeah. It's also interesting, they were saying at the end of the day, uh, the hotels, all the hotels, were gonna have to register their unregistered rooms. They un un no assignments to a room. They were gonna move these people in and they were gonna take up these rooms. Mm -hmm. that uh, no one had registered for during the day or, or they weren't going to be there at night. And they had whole hotels that were nothing but homeless people. Yes, and uh, they were telling all the problems connected with that. Wait, why would that be a problem? Uh, yeah, well, put, <laughs> uh, for example, the homeless with, with mental problems, yeah. uh, you'd have a mental problem right down the hall from a family with kids. Mm -hmm. Or, or sure. any any problem with the, with the person that didn't under, wasn't able to think well, mm -hmm. uh, and and that's true. And and to have a law that says 
you're going to register these. Uh, if you go out with a family, you'd want to check on the rooms next to you to see if there was a homeless registered there, not because you were against homeless people, but uh, for your own safety. For your own safety, your family, yeah. You'd, you'd want to know who was next to you. And, and you want to know if there's a rock singer because the place is going to be trashed and that's dangerous. But they're going to so, make a, a law. Yeah. Yeah. A fast law. That and that's where the government can pass to, laws, but they can't solve the problems. Yeah, it, 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 didn't, it wasn't going to solve the problem with the homeless right next to the person who uh, had children. Mm -hmm. And he was really afraid for, for his children. When he stayed that night, he couldn't sleep because he right. had to watch his children and right. they didn't get hurt. Yep. Well, and it would end up that non-homeless would stop using that chain. Yes. Um, and so then you'd have whatever the, the um, holiday ends and whatever would be our business. Exactly. And, and but, but they no, were making no it ways. mandatory that it didn't matter what your name was. The biggest hotel, the best hotel, the most uh, rich hotel in the whole group had to do the same thing as the poorest one and accept them. And uh, that was something that they couldn't object to. They could not say, we do not have these rooms sold tonight. Mm -hmm. They had to tell them where their whole rooms were and, and they were assigned someone to come in those hotel rooms that were not assigned or getting paid for. And of course, none of us want to be in a motel like that or a hotel because no. they're going to wander around into the uh, breakfast nook and everywhere else and you just don't put your kids or your wife or your family in that kind of danger. Well, uh, American way is not to be against something that will help other people, but, mm -hmm. uh, when, but when there's no benefit and, yeah. and there were, there was no control over the ones who were going in there. It was mm -hmm. just, they just were able to occupy that room that was not sold. Yeah. And it was law. They had a right to be in that room. Mm -hmm. uh, and how, how can you a law pass that tells a private organization, you know, a private company? Well, you, uh, uh, you know, if you understand socialism. Oh yeah, true. Very uh, true. And, and uh, but but uh, freedom and socialism do not go down the same road. They, they cannot go down the same road because of the principles of the establishes them. But uh, that's where people are going with this method. They're going to socialism and, and communism. And But really the true thing is, like this thing we're studying, communism puts out a, a, a great face saying, we do all these things for our people. We, we have bread and milk for everybody that's around. We can't get, you can't get any, any cake or anything else, but you get bread and milk. Everybody's and, employed. And you stand in line to get it. Yep. And, and uh, Americans, or, or freedom-loving people, uh, they say, I don't like bread and milk. I like, I like something better than that. And, uh, and in America, you can get something better if you want to. It may take more money to do it, but as long as you get the money, you can do it, can't you? And, and that's where the social limits go. And truly what we're, we're headed for in America, if we don't stop it, is, is communism. There's so, uh, areas we're going to socialism and then dead communism. And if you have been around a communist country and really looked into it, it's death defying to those people who do not tread the social, uh, socialist line. Well, we, we see that because there's people in socialist countries in South America, in Cuba, and where are they going? They're flowing up to the United States where they can be free. We're gonna to have to close it. We can stay and talk as long as you want, but we're gonna to have to have an end here, officially anyway, let's have a prayer. Thank you very much, Father that you give us information that we can be enlightened and we can see the truth from the air and we understand that Satan is a master deceiver and disguises himself as light. Help us to discern truth in Jesus' name, amen.